Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new gameplay objective to review today. We're going to be taking a look at the new Junior Macias, Brazilian Macias, 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 Macias. He's Macias. I feel like it would be Macias if he's Brazilian. Uh, five foot ten, medium, medium work rates, left footed, five star skills, three star weak foot. So obviously the skill moves is very, very nice to have but he does have a three-star weak foot. Guys, for me personally, I'm going to be giving this card a finisher chemistry style because I want to improve his dribbling and his shooting as much as possible. Yes, his pace is going to be lower, but if we take a look at this card on the hunter chemistry style, the dribbling is going to be in the mid 80s with 77 composure, which I feel like can be bothersome with the five foot 10 height, but the lean body type on a finisher chemistry style could actually make the card more usable, especially if you're using them in the cam position. So the main thing that we're going to be seeing here is whether or not the card actually performs well in the main attacking positions with a dribbling boost. And if the dribbling boost doesn't really do too much to it, then that's just going to be a base characteristic of his. Uh, he does have 86 acceleration, 89 sprint speed to work with, which is a uh, Perfectly fine, in my opinion. Shooting, we are going to be improving drastically, especially with the medium, medium work rates. He's going to have 97 for finishing at 91 for shot power. Base card stats for passing is perfectly fine on the card, especially if you're using him in the cam position. Uh, dribbling in game, we will be experimenting with because he does have uh, the lean body type in game. Base card stats for physical, he's been working with 71 for strength and then 89 for stamina. Uh, you know, to pretty much use them in any of those main attacking areas. Uh, so with this card, guys, you know, I could totally see him being used in the side positions as well on a Hunter Chemistry style because the dribbling is less important uh, when you use these cards in the side areas. For instance, Zaha, when I was doing the review for him, it's not a card that I would use through the middle, especially because of how his body type kind of plays in game. But in the side positions, he's actually pretty solid, especially if you have like a get him behind instruction on him or something, right? Uh, but... With this card, guys, it has to be more linear, I would say. It has to be like in a 4-2-3-1. Uh, so it has to be in a, in a sense like this. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to actually line it up like this. Then in Kunku, uh, in Kunku, we're going to switch over here. And then we're going to do that. I forget the tactics for this, actually. I have to go check it. Okay, so we just figured it out. So the, in, the tactics is going to be like this instructions is going to be like this so stay back uh he's gonna be on stay back cover center he's just gonna be on cover center stay forward stay on the edge of the box get into the box get into the box and then stay forward for him okay cool let's go try him out okay so first guy let's see what we got du -du 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 you know what i respect that man it's meta but it's like fun meta you know, fun meta is always great. Okay, so let's switch to the attack. My game volume has to go so much lower. There we go. And we're good to go. Let's go. Oh, dude, gameplay during the nighttime. I'm telling you, I, I love doing... Um, If it's like gameplay objective cards on my homie's account and he's the elite division, I genuinely don't care because when the gameplay is good at night, it's fun to play. Ooh, we hit that in the green too. It was a little bit deadly. First time. Okay. We have to test those. We have to test those. Because you guys know, man, that there's some players that when they have really good base card stats for shooting, they actually score those opportunities. Believe it or not. Like those first time shot angles are actually really nice. But what's all, it's without uh, timing it as well. It's always good to kind of test, right? Legrand switch, there we go. First time touch wasn't too bad. First time shot. Oh, gameplay during the during the nighttime is like this. It's like this, man. Oh. Absolute beauty. Well positioned, great little goal right there. Aggressive on that run, comes back, nice. Ooh. 
the animation with the pressure kind of made him shoot the ball a little bit off for the timing there, but. Ooh, almost got it, almost got it. You gotta time those a little bit. Oh, it was a good green time shot too. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, I gotta go for a first time pass upwards there. Well done. Your ball was quick enough there. Touch, shoot. Beautiful, let's go. Uh, lovely. Oh, Loris with the save. It's a good finesse shot though, we tried it. Good, timing on the ball roll was really good there. Ball roll, beauty, left stick. Ah, oh, I got it. I got the left stick against him. It was just the, uh, it was just the, uh, the defender there that was right on top of me. Let's go. Nice little driven pass to him. We go for the near pulse angle. Guys, he's going to be the most usable in a finisher chemistry style, okay? Like, it's just going to be the thing with him because you need to boost the shooting as much as possible. And if you just work with the pace as it is and you use him in the cam position for a 4-2-3-1, like, you're chilling, you know? Like, it's a card that's going to be usable for sure. I almost got that there, too. The positioning was perfectly fine there. So, what I'm noticing so far, guys, is that his high-medium work rates actually works out really well in the cam position so it's one of those types of cards that because he actually initially belongs in the cam position and you give him a finisher chemistry style his positioning is actually not bad with the way that he works off of the striker what's great about this is that like i'm not even specifically forcing certain plays with him and he's actually scoring for me which is awesome in that situation with benzema if i did like if i went for a specific touch and then a bounce pass it would have been great Yeah, what's making the card more usable is definitely the, uh, the lean body type, for sure. Oh, I should maybe I should have lot past that instead. Ooh, I try to get like a, a first time quick touch there. It didn't really work out, though. On a white, ah. Uh, it was a good first time touch though. He's positioned well there. He saved that? Oh, wow. He was on side there too, actually. Gotta go for like a weak foot strike there. It didn't work out though. Ooh. Yeah, that's always gonna be rough with him for sure. It's nice if I can get like that first time quick touch with him and then you kind of like just push forward away from him, but I would need more pace for that. Uh, guys, listen, man, in, in a perfect world, right? I would love to do all the reviews in the elite division while streaming the game, you know, collecting all these cards and stuff. The reason why I don't do it is because when I play with these cards during the daytime, guys, it's awful. I can still tell what their base characteristics are, during the daytime even if it's a lower div it doesn't matter right it's just that the gameplay is horrible it's it's literally what it is man it's just horrible to play like it's just i can enjoy this game at nighttime and it's stupid it really shouldn't be like this it's been like this for eight plus years for me man and uh it's very unfortunate but yeah the messias card guys we're gonna keep trying him it's not, it's not like a crazy card but he has the base stuff to make him usable in the game you know Legrand switch. Oh, his passing was really weird right there. The way that he let go of that was so weird. Ah. He pushed the goalkeeper, but like, I don't really know what to do at that moment, to be honest. Oh, hey, where's the registration for that? It's my G.
Oh, what was that? Messias. Okay, East man, what is that? That's how I have to wait for the track back right there. Gotta wait for that track back every time. Ah, I try to do like some quick left stick touches. Very tough to work with there. Touch. Ah. Uh, see, in a situation like that with the lob passes, that's where it's really nice to have the uh, the hunter chemistry style men for situations like that. Nice, good goal. Palatano, man, after the upgrade, he's uh, he's something, I'll tell you that much. Nice. I like that even though I'm far away from the goalkeeper, I can still actually score those uh, those opportunities. Oh, I shouldn't have made that pass. Or I should have, but a lob pass instead. Or go for a finesse shot, potentially. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new gameplay objective Messias card. So in regards to how he performs in-game, guys, uh, we gave him the finisher chemistry style to try to boost his dribbling and shooting as much as possible on the card uh, because of base characteristics, right? So it's a card that has uh, the lean body type, so I feel like when I can improve that agility, balance, and dribbling as much as possible for that lean body type, I always feel like that's the most ideal thing. Now, here's the thing with a card like this, right? So there are a lot of moments where pace is going to be relevant for certain passing opportunities, certain attacking opportunities. So the Hunter chemistry style would make sense for those moments. But if it's a card that's going to be mainly playing in the cam position, it's nice to boost the dribbling as much as possible because you notice that if you don't give him the finisher, the dribbling is a little bit more rough to work with, especially since it's a card that I see mostly playing in the secondary striker position or as an actual cam in your team. Now, yes, you could totally use a card like this on a Hunter chemistry style on the side positions. The dribbling will be a little bit rough to work with, but in the side positions, it's not as bad. But again, I feel like this card needs the finisher chemistry style. And when he needs the finisher chemistry style, you just lack in the pace from time to time to kind of score certain opportunities. But like, you know, attacking AI wise, if he plays in the cam position with his medium, medium work rates, uh, he does get into some pretty solid opportunities uh, or he opens himself really well uh, in that middle area. You know, obviously I have the flashback Benzema on the team, so he definitely helps out a lot. But yeah, Macias definitely found himself in a lot of situations where, you know, you get that one driven pass to him, take a small little touch, get the pass off or get a shot off. And he's actually pretty decent. So it's a usable gameplay objective. Nothing too crazy with the card, but uh, fun to use for what it is, you know, fun to use for what it is. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.